we, ha we have a couple of items that we want to cover today, and, and we think they're both extremely exciting and, and give you an opportunity to ask questions, and certainly the floor is always open to ask um, questions on, on any subject matter after we're finished. But if Victor White would join me up here, I'm going to turn this over to him here pretty quickly. We, we uh, are announcing today two dates. We are getting ready to open our parking garage and rental car facilities on May 27th. This is going to be a fabulous addition to that airport. And then Victor's going to share the particulars. We're also sharing today that the airport's very first flight will be on June the 3rd. I want to reiterate that this is an airport, if you haven't seen it, that is really going to change uh, the front door of Wichita dramatically. We're pretty excited about what this airport's going to do, both in terms of, of the comfort to treat citizens that are coming into our community, travelers, visitors. It has a number of amenities that, that we're pretty excited about, and here's the best part. 100% of the cost of the airport is borne by grants and fees generated by the airport. No local tax dollars. No local tax dollars are going to fund the airport. And, and it's a fabulous airport. Even better when we can get some others to pay for it and it doesn't come out of general tax dollars. And excited about these two dates. And I'm going to let Victor share the particulars of both the garage, rental car, and the, and the first flight at the new Dwight D. Eisenhower Airport. Well, thank you, Mayor, and good morning, everyone. First, I'd like to talk about the uh, parking garage and the rental car center, since we haven't really shared too much information about that previously with you. Uh, the garage has 1,200 parking stalls for the public, and 800 of those are underneath cover. Uh, there will be ADA accessible stalls located on each level of the garage nearest to the elevators. The rental car center has about 400 stalls, although they're configured differently because of the way that they operate. Each, each of the nine agencies has them laid out differently. But all of those spaces are under cover as well for the first time at this airport. And then adjacent to the parking areas, there is a rental car customer service lobby that contains the counters for all nine of the rental car agencies that we have at, operating at the airport. The vehicle entrance that the public will use uh, to get into the garage is the same path that they follow today to get into what's the existing long-term and short-term parking lots. But the vehicle entrance for the rental car return will move from over by the control tower to be the same entrance road as the entrance to the garage. And we'll have signs that, that mark all of those things. Uh, customers walking between the garage and the rental car center will follow temporary pedestrian pathways to the current airline terminal until it closes and the new terminal opens. Once the new garage opens, then the current long-term and short-term parking lots will be closed forever and no additional cars will be allowed to enter those lots. But vehicles that are in the lots at the time we close them will still be able to exit at the current exit cashier plaza. And customers returning to the, both the long-term and the short-term lots uh, during this interim period will follow the same pedestrian path from the current terminal to the long-term lot that they did to go from the lot to the terminal. And then when all of those vehicles have left the long-term and short-term lots, then those areas will be placed under construction at will a new economy parking lot, which is a very cost-effective option for un uncovered parking. We'll have a new close-in automated cashierless lot that takes debit and credit cards, and then there'll be an employee parking area adjacent to all that. Those surface lots should be completed uh, in the early fall this year. Now, interim parking rates in the new garage provide 30 minutes of free parking, and then they're $2 per hour with a maximum daily rate of $10 after four hours. But there's no limit to how long someone can stay, so it simplifies things very considerably for them. Payment in the garage can be in the form of all major credit cards, debit cards, personal and traveler's checks, and of course cash. And members of the airport's Thanks Again Rewards Program can earn mileage on the airline of their choice when using the parking garage. Thank you, Victor. We appreciate that. Um, failed to mention Councilmember Pete Meissner in the back of the room. He certainly is our 
roll out the red carpet guy and so on June the 3rd we will be planning some kind of an event for that very first flight to come in so that the council members and the mayor and others can uh, greet that first flight maybe it will be Pete rolling out the red carpet uh, there's a couple of events that day. I know Costco's opening in Wichita too, so Pete's uh, excited about both of those things. So, um, pretty exciting times. We are really looking forward to uh, finally opening up that airport, the parking garage. And Victor, thank you for sharing all of that information. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We um, also want to share some information. Uh, about the River Fest, and I'm going to ask Mary Beth Jarvis to come up here. I will tell you, um, as you all know, the River Fest is something that uh, someone that was born and raised here in Wichita looked forward to every spring and summer. My family was raised on attending the River Fest, and those early events truly. Um, enabled us to appreciate some of our area parks like we would have never appreciated in years past as we would uh, join the for various different events take our kids out and and camp out on the river for all day it was a time in my life when I could spend days in the sun and not have to worry about getting sunburn on the top of my head so I really appreciated those early days of the river fest and enjoyed attending parks that I probably would have never attended just simply because of the events that the river fest was putting on in area parks so pretty exciting I know one fact for sure last year there were over 380,000 people that attended the river fest that is awesome for our community. And Mary Beth is going to come up and share a little bit more. We're lucky to have Mary Beth here this morning. Mary Beth, you want to share about the River Fest today? Much appreciated. Uh, we are excited and, uh, and hope that the community's excitement continues to build between now and May 29th when we kick off the River Festival. Uh, nine days we get to treat downtown as all of our backyard and friends and neighbors and families, kids of all ages get to gather uh, on the river, which is exciting. Uh, and here in downtown Wichita. As the mayor mentioned, in 2014, we had 380,000 attendees at Riverfest. We sold 111,000 Riverfest buttons, which is your ticket to nine days of concerts, entertainment, and cultural events. That 111,000 buttons sold puts us in the top three dozen outdoor events worldwide. This is truly something that Wichita does on a world scale. We compete with events from Chicago to Dublin to Rio to San Francisco, you name it. And, uh, and the reward for that is not only that we unify and engage our community uniquely for those nine days, but also that we put between 25 and 30 million dollars in the local economy just in that nine day period. Uh, so how does that happen? Well it happens via a number of key mechanisms. Uh, the very first of which is we, this is a community festival that is done for the region by community members. Uh, we have more than 5,000 volunteers and more than 200 partners. Those are sponsors uh, that provide as part of their gift to the community things like the Coke Twilight Pops concert, the Capitol Federal Fireworks Show, the Spirit Aero Systems Rockin' on the River concert. Year after year, these local companies, small and large, help us bring events of quality uh, that, that really add to the, uh, the, the enhance the festival experience for our festival goers and the value of that button. Uh, but the other partners are those with whom we park on partner on logistics and on all of the arrangements it takes to stand up a festival in what the previous week was just to open courtyard or open park space. Uh, the city is one of those absolutely vital partners. Uh, we are delighted that the city plays a sponsorship role in the festival a presenting sponsor for a special day that we have this year, June 5th, a salute to aviation. Uh, we'll, we will celebrate our area's role in the flight industry and the aircraft manufacturing industry and our heritage and future in that great uh, area of our economy. That happens on June 5th and the city is a wonderful partner in that event. They are also an overall sponsor of the festival and part of that is done with, uh, with a, a cash sponsorship. Part of that is done through an in-kind contribution 
distribution of park space and use of Century 2 and we are so excited to partner with the city in that respect because they along um, alongside our other partners want to be a part of hosting this uh, the state's largest and longest running community festival so we thank the city and its many departments we work closely with Parks and Rec uh, Arts and Culture um, Public Works so many uh, of the key arms of the city come together to help throw this most unifying and accessible of celebrations uh, and I'll say just one more thing about sort of the accessibility uh, Wichita does this on a world scale but we also do it differently than many. Uh, if you think about the festivals around the country that are most similar to ours, uh, one of those is the Chattanooga, Tennessee River Bend Festival. Nine days, concerts, bouncy houses for the kids, turkey legs and funnel cakes, and all of the festival trappings. That's $55 for a pass to that festival. Uh, we in Wichita choose with the $10 adult button and a $3 child button for all nine days of activities, concerts included, we choose to make this as accessible, as unifying, and as affordable as possible. And again, our great partnerships with our sponsors, with the city, and our other collaborative agencies uh, really make that possible. So thank you very much, M Mr. Mayor, and to all of the folks on your staff and around the city uh, that really helped throw uh, uh, this most unique of events here in our region. We appreciate it. We appreciate the fact that you have kept that family friendly and affordable and it's just an, a really unique community event to our area. Something that everyone can enjoy regardless of your interest or age or ability to get around. It's just a terrific event for the city. So thank you for what you do there. Looking forward to many more of those festivals and looking forward to walking in the parade on May the 29th. So I will have my walking shoes on. We appreciate you coming and at this point in time we would open it up for questions that you might have today.